Welcome aboard, nigga. Y'all on my shit. I took this shit over for the day. Yo, man, what's good? Back with another video. About to check out J.R. with Hoop Dreams 2. Uh, for those that don't know who J.R. are, he's a dope MC coming out of Wilson, North Carolina. This dude's been all over Ransom Projects. We've seen him on uh, Sloth on 7 last year um, and a plethora of other EPs that we've seen. Um, but, you know, he's back with Nicholas Craven on this joint, you know what I'm saying, with a second installment to the one that they did before. I think they did it like a year or two ago. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure it was 2020, though. Might have been 2021. Uh, don't exactly fucking say or quote me on that shit, because, I mean, a lot of music be coming out all at one time, so. Right now, bro, it's literally all a blur, you know what I'm saying? Unless I actually sit here and look at it when it came out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, let's go ahead and just check this joint out, man, you know what I'm saying? Six tracks, so not long at all. We got some features from Ransom, Ty Ferris, and A.O. Shamir. Don't know exactly who A.O. Shamir is, but you know what it is, you know what I'm saying? About to actually sit here and check this dude out and see what he's about, you know what I'm saying? Um, and JR, dope MC, you know what I'm saying? He's a hooper as well, so, you know, he be sitting there weaving a bunch of basketball bars um, into his shit, so... Let's go ahead and check it out, man. First track is Mike and Drew. So, and that in itself, just like I said, he be weaving basketball themes and bars in his music. You know, Mike and Drew. That's like an actual drill that you do in basketball. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go ahead and check this joint out, man. Let's get it. Mm. Guitars, strings, chimes. So he's coaching them through the actual drill. That's fire, bro. Thought it was over, this my fourth beginning. Mm. Cut 40 yards to fourth and inches without conforming or forcing friendship. The playing with that fourth. That's a dope that's a dope scheme in the beginning right here, man. You know, playing with that fourth. He said, You thought it was over, but I'm out, I'm in my fourth inning. Basically I'm about to sit here and bring it to you in the fourth quarter, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna turn forty yards and or four hundred yards, either one. He said forty yards or four hundred yards in the fourth and inches. Like, I'm gonna bring this game close, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's run that back. Bro, I know who be doing this shit like me over here. We don't got no lyrics up, bro. We just talking about it, catching them, you know what I'm saying? Quit playing. Thought it was over, this is my fourth beginning. Fourth beginning. Forty yards to fourth and inches without forty yards to fourth and inches. Okay. Without friendships. Mm. Whether you coming off the porch or benches. Be ready for the course and trenches, whores and temperatures. The price of fame has a morbid interest. Mm. Price of fame got a morbid interest. My singer hook just to retort the critics. Mm. You niggas reigns on the top. Be sure to speak. Lord forgive it. But what they drop is only dribblets. I'm what no one witness. No one mm. sick when family won't support it. When, when they post. drop, it's only dribblets. I'm what no one witnessed. <laughs> Yo, the rank. Come on, bro. You paint that picture on this shit, bro. The double entendres that he's using, bro, is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Business, they want your promise if you make it that you won't forget them. Mm. They try to ball and get dragged. It's like gore and dribbling. No, I heard the devil on my shoulder, but the voice was trembling. God, mm. body, when I spazz out. The devil. Okay, he's playing with that devil and God scheme. Like, bro, this is hard. This is hard off the rip, man. I want to run it back so bad, you know what I'm saying? Because, of course, I'm not going to sit here and catch every single bar within it um, on the first listen, you know what I'm saying? But just the double entendres that he's using right now is crazy. The rhyme schemes that he's using right now is crazy. I'm going to run it back a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Bars penitentiary hard, watch me enforce a sentence. Bars penitentiary hard, watch me enforce a sentence. <laughs> bro. 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 Alright, man. I, I'm gonna try to stop pausing this shit, you know what I'm saying? But the bars, bro. The bars in here is wild, you know what I'm saying? I knew I missed a few bars up in here. That shit's hard. Raise on the top, be short as Mitch. Lord forgive it. Raise on the top, short Mitch. Mm. Mm. Try to ball get dragged. You throw stones and hide your hands inside a glass house. Mm. I just shine and torch the tenants. The force mm. tremendous, they won't source the remnants. You hide in a glass house, torch the tenants. 
Mm. Mm. My sword is going to be sharper than anybody else and they got more resources, you know what I'm saying? Mm. There ain't, ain't nothing else to say. That shit was fire, you know what I'm saying? Rapping on here is flawless on here, you know what I'm saying? Let's get on to the next one, give and go. Let's get it. Them strings is crazy, bro. That sample's dope. Got that bass guitar going. They scared a man and up. I'm paying to a zone. Mm. Still a humble king won't let you pay it to my They're scared a man and up. I'm paying <laughs> Come on, bro. God damn. Like, bro. This, this shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? They scared a man and up. I'm paying to your zone. This is fire. Mm. Oh, man. bragging about y'all gang. I'd rather face this shit alone. Come on, talk to him. Mm. Facts. I can share the feet like hand me downs. Persian rage, murder phase. Heard him sleeping. Mm. Bro, what's going on with my damn Spotify, bro? Might have to do like this. You know what I'm saying? This shit's all jacked up. Run it back. You know what I'm saying? Excalibur sticks and stones with the chrome. Mm. Mm. Y'all can share defeat like hand me down. Y'all can share defeat like hand me down. I'm doing that back and forth shit. Mm. Mm. Flying gear, that's a flight of stairs. Murder. Get the fuck out. You think that you can rain until we rushing in? <laughs> that's a triple. <laughs> that's a triple on Dodger right there, bro. You know, like when it rains, you know what I'm saying? You be rushing in, you try to hurry up and run up in the door. But you know, like you can rain, like you could take over or you're in charge of, you know what I'm saying, until we rushing in. Darius McCrary is scary how we can trust Corinne. Ninfo, mm. your family don't matter. Trust Corinne. I lure it to my house for info. That'd be my intro. Mm. When you folk your rival that's pain, you really win those. Incredible they go from ten toes to for rig no won't mm. no damn. Ten toes to for rig no know your worth if they pretend to be blind. Close the curtains. Mm. This is hurting, got me drunken and rage. I'm an older version of an older version. Call me collect like a sober person. Hold a person. Call me collect like a sober person. Soul is searching, I'm a letter drum mm. off. No rehearsal. Mm. Mm. Soul is searching, let it drum off. And niggas never live by the words that they quote in sermons. Mm. I used to Facts. let my hands do the talk and I spoke in murmurs. So reserve mm. me, feel like treat them like people that don't. I used to let my hands talk. I talk in murmurs. <laughs> Come on, bro. So the curve they've been grading you on. I'm most superb. Mixture of Katie McGrady and Brian. Kind of mm. shaking your score. Okay. Let them know. It ain't breaking the fall. Niggas not a challenge, so it ain't no debate in the call. Mm. See, I, just like I said, man, I like the basketball. You know, the metaphors and double entendres weaved within it. You know what I'm saying? You basically said these niggas can't touch me. You know what I'm saying? So you can't debate the call, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he's talking in a basketball sense as well, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, that was give and go, man. Uh, I like this track for sure, man. That back and forth dynamic with him and Ransom is crazy. Um, I really just want a full-on J.R. and Ransom project. I think that would be really dope because uh, their energy just matches each other so well, you know what I'm saying? I think this is the first track where we heard them actually, you know, go back and forth, you know what I'm saying? The way that they're weaving their bars together, you know, one kind of picks up after another as they end, you know, their last bar. Just the back and forth, the double entendres, the rhyme schemes. The beat on here is crazy, you know what I'm saying? A lot more triumphant than the first one. Kind of like, you know, they're actually out there training or something. It's like like a 1980s fucking movie or some shit. Kind of reminded me of that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, let's go ahead and get on to the next track. 
Because this track was dope as fuck. You already know how I feel about Ransom over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anything Ransom's on, pretty much, uh, he's going to kill. You know what I'm saying? But let's get on to the next one, man. Backboard Dollars. Mm. You know something, man? Go. That vocal sample, bro. We on that soulful shit now. I got the stats to match the eye test. Gambled on mm. myself and stats to match the eye test. Side bets. Was terminated early. Hope they shoot and splash the sky nets. Assist mm. the trail blazing like a buoy past the cloud tracks. Oof. My eyes sweat when I think of the early rap that hangs. Mm. Those who couldn't manage the masquerade. So yeah. we reached the dollars on the backboards. Just can never grasp the change. So yeah. the if you can reach the dollars on the backboard, those that couldn't grasp the change. That's a triple, bro. <laughs> That's another triple on Tons right there, bro. Easy. Get the fuck up. Like, what the fuck? Running back, bro. Like, you can't grasp the change, like changing, but then you can't grasp the change, like physically, like the money change, but then you can't grasp the change, as in like grasping the basketball. Like, give me my change. Those who couldn't manage the masquerade, some mm. could reach the dollars on the backboards, just could never grasp the change. Some crafted pain into a classic game. Ask mm. for fame, you might receive misfortune before or after. Feel like mm. you putting points on the board, but it's scoring back with source of pass. But Feel like you putting scores on the board, but it's going backwards. Adapted when that vital element in yourself. Corbin Dallas put a chalice till it overflows. For mm. once we lost to drug abuse, I swear I'm over those. <sighs> Everyone we lost to violence, hope they hold a soul. Mm. And live forever as their stories being overtold. This sample is fucking tough, bro. Litany of quiet misfortunes that have claimed. Talking that real shit on here, man. I'm telling you, the wordplay is fucking amazing. All right, man, that was Backboard Dollars. Loving that one as well, you know what I'm saying? Not much to really say about this, man. The soul sample, that soulful beat that, you know, Nicholas Craven is providing us with, and then J.R. is just floating over with all these fucking crazy-ass bars, you know what I'm saying? Wordplay is great. Just the lines that he's giving you on here is dope because he's giving you game, but also weaving in that theme of... You know, hoop dreams, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Let's get on to the next one, man. No contest. Another good vocal sample on here. Heavy pianos. Got that small, small kick. They wonder why it's do or die when I'm ball and I write. Because I'm going to guard my talents, you know what I'm saying? my life essentially you know what I'm saying but then he's talking about guarding like come on bro <laughs> about the cause and the ice the chains around your neck spangled like that banner with the stars and the stripes just mm. part of the hype stars spangled banner but talking about the chains on his neck mm. how you making up stories trying to harden your life the fairy tales about the how you making up stories trying to harden your life james harden who the goat get your arguments right I swear the Knicks in the 90s had a better chance guarding a mic. They made Jordan rules. Bro. Yeah, listen! That's called motherfucking bars, nigga! Fucking you know nothing about that! I'm, I'm, bro. I'm done, bro. <sighs> More double entendres, bro. I swear the Knicks in the 90s had a better chance guarding Mike. But he's talking about rapping as well. Like, bro, I can't do this. Okay. Miss with target in sight. <sighs> Come on, man. Made Jordan rules for me. Slot of guys. Mm. Pistons starting five. Mm. Okay. This is hard, bro. Okay, Ty Ferris. Mm. And Jack ready to react. Mm. My life real got some family members that relapse when it's okay. still over mics like a young meek mill rap. Burn mm. with a splash. Over mics like a young meek mill rap. The finals, a taxpayer LLC over CDs and the vinyl. These mm. rappers fiend to be seen. Taxpayers LLC over CDs and vinyl. Another fire track, bro. Nothing to really say at the end of this. Great bars, you know what I'm saying? Next track, Court Visions. Let's get it. These vocal samples have been fucking amazing, bro. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, that's sin. My eyes pan the arena to 
start the crowd chants. Next mm. switches and sneakers screeches smooth out the soundtrack. Mm. I take a dribble and it bounce flat. I bounce back. <laughs> that bounce scheme, you know, him talking about tuning out everybody around him during the game. Come on, man. That my mouth can't the house pack. Like my uncle crib in the 90s where I mm -hmm. got my introduction to sex, grief, and violence. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what respect okay. meant. I was nine. Shit, I want to wear my Bringing it back to his lifestyle. Decided they pressed me from the mm. time I caught the inbound pass. Okay. Press me crib. ever since I got the inbound pass. You know, he's talking about the things that he was exposed to in the 90s as a young kid. You know what I'm saying? The double entendre within that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm, facts. See, a lot of people sit here and, and talk about that shit too. Like, oh yeah, bro. Like, you don't know shit about the streets. You ain't about that life. Just because you ain't about that life, don't mean that you don't know how that lifestyle is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're born into those areas and shit like that, so you're exposed to shit that. You really don't want to be exposed to, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's something that's unavoidable. Like, you can't avoid it because you're around people that are into that life, even though you don't want to be. These are the people I hang out with. These are the people I go to school with. These are the people that live, you know, next door to me that I play outside, play basketball with, you know what I'm saying? But it just so happens that, you know, certain people are into certain shit and doing certain things, you know what I'm saying? Some people just don't don't really grasp that concept and understand that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I said in my story time videos, bro, I've been shot at before. It's just the product of the environment that i was in like those situations that i was in was unavoidable i had people running through my house you know what I'm saying gang members sitting here doing donuts in front of my house running up in my fucking house you know what I'm saying like unavoidable i can't avoid that shit but those are situations that happen because of the certain area that i was in you know what I'm saying so He's talking some real shit up on here, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas who never harmed a fly, but walk inside the booth and tend to speak like killers. Mm. Know my shots, never harm like the fly, walk into the booth and speak like killers. Talk your shit. Even as an elder man, I'ma treat them like they marry and right. That mm. means they got a child's defense or belly in sight. Okay. I don't know who Marion Wright is. Is that a basketball player? Hold on, bro. I don't know. Let me know if somebody, uh, somebody named Marion or Marion White is a basketball player in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Mama used to get on her knees and pray until she got her knees replaced. Hooping was my outlet. That's tough. Just to see a break, I seen the fate of sloppiness. I make sure that my sneak is laced. I keep mm. the pace. Or can push the tempo and dish your head. Facts. Or screen, watch me split the hedge. Mm. Electrifying how I'm switching legs. Niggas was horse playing while I was learning. So it's no surprise they missed the egg. Mm -hmm. Get the grab. Niggas was horse playing. You know how you play a horse, basketball. Okay, bro. <laughs> Facts. It's fire. He gave his heart away for pennies. It's funny. Mm. I give advice to niggas hardly in their twenties and be at a loss for words at the thought that they had hear me. Mm. They don't endear me. My nieces and nephews swivel. Try to bridge the age gap, but they see me as Carol Mitchell. Mm. Not to mention my people with health issues. Got a lot on my plate, but I'm eating in Hell's Bistro recently. Mm. Hell been on. Health issues in Hell's Bistro. Mm. I'm seeing your efforts and I salute you, but make peace with the This sample is fucking amazing, man. Mm. All right, that was Court Vision. It's basically him just talking about his upbringing, you know what I'm saying? Things that he has you know, personally seen, kind of going with the actual title, you know, Court Vision, him kind of like trying to drown out the audience, drown out the environment that's around him. Um, and that double entendre, bro, in itself is fucking fire as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Um, but he has some really dope lines, some really dope bars on here. Cool uh, references to basketball players and shit like that, bro. But definitely a fire-ass track. Sample on here from Nicholas Craven is just fucking out of this world, bro. At this point, like, bro, somebody give Nicholas Craven his goddamn flowers, bro. This dude's putting in fucking work like crazy, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get on to the last track, The Garden. Let's get it. Yo, some of these basketball schemes are going to go over my head, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you, you know what I'm saying? Basketball samples and players that they be talking about. Because I'm not like a crazy basketball fanatic, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to lie. Garden of Peace is severed heads of serpents and lawn trimmers. We all know okay. my song. Yo, fuck, what's that sample from? Dun, dun, dun. Fuck. 
Fuck, it's not, it's not coming to me, bro. I can't think. Hey, let me know in the comments, bro. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Cause I know what I'm talking about, but I just can't think about it, bro. It's just very like slowed down. Pianos are a tad bit different. In my garden of peace, it's severed heads of serpents and lawn trimmers. Mm. We all garden of peace, serpents, trimmers. Got us a dawn, vintage, I don't talk much. Most of these rappers run on sentence, moving mm. silence. But I don't talk much, most of these rappers run on sentence. Can't tell the battles I fought cause the scars blemished mm. Been on the walk with God but they say that the stars limits mm. They blow a smoke Bill Goldberg how it sparks interest But sit calm Bill around Goldberg. me you'll get that applause ending They scrambled like quarterbacks with a 40 dash mm. Scramble like quarterbacks in a 40 dash You just a tortoise and a tour de France mm. A lot of ticket with the quarter scratch Y'all niggas more for chance My shit could build a peephole You just exploit the glance It's best you know my heart ubiquitous So you ain't gotta welcome homie mm. Coming for my do until it's nothing left to owe me mm. Y'all still looking for acceptance Nigga that's the old me mm. We might deserve to be respected globally But sometimes the best get what's left handed to them That's Ginobili Matrimony mm. fake handed Ginobili Mary Street so the judge threw the bouquet at him That marriage scheme right there Fire Still I don't approve Matrimony, marriage, streets, bouquet. These dudes can't fathom the tracks. I just you say past them. Second line blew your mind, but nigga, who say actually Luke K dragon? I souffle rappers. Got this out the mud dog or Bobby Boucher, what you can't tackle. You few can't catch Bobby Boucher, what you can't tackle. It's in better than my thoughts. I don't need the papyrus. Seeing the violence, niggas rootless. A lot of people pushing up daisies for what came out of their tulips is too mm. They spew shit, but a lot of people pushing up daisies for the shit that came out their lips. <laughs> infused with what a lot lacks. They mm. climax to neglect the plot. I just hope that when I'm gone, you forget me not. Mm. Forget me not. Dope way to end this, bro. Alright, man. That was Hoop Dreams 2. Dope ass EP, bro. Like this shit is beyond flawless beyond fire the production on here is amazing from nicholas craven man all the samples used throughout man were great of course you're gonna get some really dope you know vocal loops vocal samples on here as well a lot of the instrumentals on here are really you know catered towards j.r himself you know what I'm saying just the way that you know he raps um and the subject matter that you know he pretty much puts across it's really like fitting to him because it's minimal sometimes you have those vocal samples i know a lot of people sit here and uh you know they say that it's drowning the voice out but at this point bro i'm so used to the vocal samples being in there um that you know it's easy to kind of depict and pick out the bars and stuff like that because i'm just so used to it you know what i'm saying um but dope performance from uh nicholas craven on the beats j.r on here man he has a lot of dope rhyme schemes a lot of dope double entendres and themes about basketball throughout um, just really dope with that and i like how he ties together like the real life situations and you know uh, certain things within the bars so he's not only just you know giving you you know just cool basketball you know wordplay and and uh, metaphors double entendres and stuff like that he's also weaving in you know life experiences um, and just, you know, overall game to you at the same time. So, you know, that's really dope in that aspect. Should I don't know who A.O. Shamir is. I definitely didn't hear him unless he was also on the production. Uh, but I definitely didn't hear exactly who A.O. Shamir is. So let me know in the comments exactly who that is. Um, features on here were dope. I like Ty Ferris, man. He did his thing. Of course, my favorite feature on here was Ransom. The performance in the back and forth nature that they, you know, pretty much used on that track was amazing. I'll say Give and Go is probably my favorite track. Based off of that one track alone, man, I really think that of Ransom and J.R.R., you know, EP, full EP or album or whatever would be dope. Uh, we see J.R.R. featured on a lot of, you know, Ransom songs. Um, you know that he's been doing on some of these albums but yeah man hoop dreams too man this is fire as hell uh there's no like low points on this ep at all or even midpoints um the rapping the instrumentals everything on here is just hands down flawless you know what i'm saying i don't normally do number ratings over here but you know when i do this is a 10 out of 10 bro this hands down like one of my favorite eps that's dropped this year um based off of first listen um and you know technical rapping skill and shit like that bro like 
this dude is highly, highly, highly underrated. I've been listening to him for a minute, just never really covered him on the channel. I got a few of his cassette tapes and stuff like that. He actually signed my shit. But yeah, man, Hoop Dreams 2, what'd you think about it? Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know in the comment section down below. What's your favorite bar that you heard up in here? The favorite double entendre? Um, and if you know who this is um, that's in the actual album cover, you know what I'm saying? Let me know, because I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I know when I really don't, you know what I'm saying? Unless this is uh, somehow Michael Jordan... When he's old as hell, I don't think it is. He looks familiar, you know what I'm saying? But I just can't put my finger on it. But like I said, I'm not like a huge basketball dude. But <laughs> yeah, man. Anyways, you like it? Did you not? Let me know in the comment section down below. You already know what it is. It's your boy Tev. Catch you on the next reaction video, man. I'm out of here. Peace.